I believe that the number one reason your company is unable to increase diversity at all levels is because your hiring process is creating an obstacle course for talented people from historically underrepresented backgrounds to get in, move through, get hired, and later to even get promoted. Hey recruiters, I'm Jen Tardy, and you're on the Diversity Recruiter Central channel, where I teach you everything that you need to know about diversity recruiting in today's video. I'm gonna share with you six similarities between an obstacle course and your hiring process. One of the things that I do want to mention first is that whenever I talk about historically underrepresented populations or marginalized groups, I'm referring to people of color, women, people with disabilities, those who identify as LGBTQ, and veterans. These populations know very well the feeling of living at the intersection of being both ambitious and feeling or being treated as different. And that's a really big deal. Different to what, you might ask? Different to those who are overrepresented at your company, which is typically different to the white, male, cisgender, heterosexual, able-bodied individuals. It is part of an all too familiar obstacle course that job seekers face when trying to reach new levels in their career. We're on a mission to help to make it easier for job seekers and employers to meet, engage, and forge hiring success. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help you to better identify the barriers marginalized groups face when trying to get hired and when trying to get promoted so that you're able to remove those barriers at your company overall. Are you ready? Let's go. Obstacle number one, being ambitious and different means having to climb beyond perceptions put upon you whereby others question your ability or the likelihood of your success because they've never seen someone who looks like you do this work. Many times the lack of representation has more to do with historical discrimination or discriminatory hiring processes than one's ability to get the job done. Obstacle number two, being ambitious in different means, running through the psychological harm caused by culturally incompetent leaders and the smoke of gaslighting while trying not to come out traumatized or damaged on the other side. Staying under a manager who tells you that you aren't quite ready just yet with no reason as why and no development plan to get there, yet you begin watching your peers get promotions just because they might know the right person. That, something as simple as that, that creates trauma. Obstacle number three. Being ambitious and different means jumping over landmines of what's appropriate versus inappropriate behavior that's only based on standards of professionalism that's rooted in whiteness and middle-class norms. I wanna say this again for the folks in the back of the room. Many standards of professionalism are rooted in whiteness and middle-class norms. Think about beards, for example. Whoever said that having a beard at work was unprofessional in corporate America and being cleanly shaven was professional? By whose standards are we all trying to live up to? Let's pause for a second. Have you been able to identify any of these obstacles at your company or maybe at a previous company? If so, I'd love, I'd love to hear your story below in the comment section. Join me there. Let's go to obstacle four. Being ambitious and different means crawling through the muddiness of cultural misunderstandings in an effort to unnecessarily be perceived as a fit for the team. Keep in mind that if you are seeking to increase diversity, you should be looking for those who can add value to your culture because not everyone will fit your culture. Obstacle number five, being ambitious and different means swimming through seas of microaggressions where people misuse adjectives and disrespect pronouns. Don't address me as diverse <laughs> or the diverse candidates. Diversity is not because of me, it's because of our group. And respect my pronoun even if you don't understand the need. 
And finally, obstacle number six, being ambitious and different means balancing the tightrope walk of assimilation versus authenticity, just to be likable and make others feel comfortable enough to award you the job or promotion. You've heard the double bind that women face while on the road to getting that great job. Being likable versus too aggressive versus not aggressive enough, all in an effort to get a job or a promotion, it can feel exhausting. That was a lot, right? Imagine going through this so often that you get used to this feeling. No one should ever have to get used to this feeling at all. Learn to help to dismantle these obstacles. Now, I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'm telling folks about our newest ebook called The Hiring System and its Hidden Obstacle Course. This ebook provides you with 113 thought provoking questions to guide hiring managers and recruiters in identifying systematic hurdles, obstacles, and barriers that underrepresented populations face when trying to gain employment. You can find the link in the description below. Be sure to download your copy today. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm Jen Tardy. I'm your diversity recruiting coach. I will see you in the next video. Take care.